Do dwarf shrimp sleep? Yes, dwarf shrimp species like Neocaridina and Caridina, for example, do exhibit periods of rest that can be considered similar to sleep in other animals. However, shrimp do not have eyelids or distinct sleep cycles like mammals or birds. Instead, shrimp have periods of reduced activity and may find sheltered spots to rest or hide during these times. They may become less active and may not move around as much as they do during their more active periods. During these rest periods, shrimp may still be alert to potential threats and may respond to changes in their environment, although more slowly than when they were active. It's essential to provide hiding spots and shelter in your aquarium for shrimp to rest and feel secure. Observing your shrimp over time will give you a better understanding of their activity patterns and resting behavior. Providing a suitable environment with hiding spots, stable water parameters, and a well-balanced diet will help ensure that your shrimp are healthy and can exhibit their natural behaviors, including resting periods. Short-nosed shrimp, which are sometimes referred to as short-nosed algae eaters, look like ghost shrimp but behave like a mono shrimp in the sense that they are extraordinary algae eaters. Some shrimp keepers even say that they do a better job of eating algae than a mono shrimp. Unlike Amanos, these shrimp are not as aggressive when it comes to food, hence why they make excellent tank mates for other peaceful fish or invertebrates. In my 55-gallon tank, I keep my short-nosed shrimp with bamboo shrimp, vampire shrimp, autosinkless catfish, harlequin rasboras, kubotai rasboras, furcata rainbowfish, and white-clad mountain minnows. I recently built an orange pumpkin shrimp tank and added six shrimp to it. During the first month, I had an issue with the plants as they were all slowly dying off, and so I replaced them with some brand new plants. The six shrimp, on the other hand, were still doing well, and so I decided to give them some new tank mates. Let me introduce you to the Thai micro crab. For only one centimeter in size, they're pretty feisty. Fast forward a few months, and I faced another issue. The new plants I had used, which were Brazilian Elodia and Sylvania, I came to find out were banned as of 2024 in Ontario, Canada. I ended up replacing the plants again, but I noticed something. The six orange pumpkin shrimp that I had originally placed in the tank had multiplied and were now more than I could count. My shrimp colony had exploded and I look forward to seeing how much larger it's going to get. Three facts about vampire shrimp. 1. Vampire shrimp earned their name from their nocturnal nature and the fang-like appearance of their feeding appendages. 2. Vampire shrimp can grow up to 6 inches in length, though most stay between 2 to 3 inches long. Along with their size, they also live longer than other freshwater shrimp, somewhere between 5 to 10 years. 3. Unlike other freshwater shrimp, vampire shrimp do not have multiple strains of varying colors. They have the ability to change their color based on their surroundings and water parameters. These colors include pink, red, purple, blue, green, and brown. Three facts about bamboo shrimp. 1. Bamboo shrimp love a fast flow because they're filter feeders, and a fast flow helps bring them a constant supply of food particles to feed on. 2. Bamboo shrimp do not eat their own molt as they're primarily filter feeders and probably because they don't have the capability to tear it apart. However, you can leave the molt in your tank as your other shrimp or snails will feed on it, as it will provide a good source of calcium. 3. When it comes to sexing bamboo shrimp, they are slightly different than other shrimp species. Unlike most shrimp, male bamboo shrimp are larger than females and their forelegs are also much thicker. These are painted fire red shrimp, which is a high grade within the red cherry shrimp variety. These are bloody mary shrimp, which are distinctly separate. What sets them apart? Bloody mary shrimp are selectively bred from chocolate shrimp. 
Unlike Painted Fire Red Shrimp or any other grade of Red Cherry Shrimp, whose outer shell showcases the red pigment, Bloody Mary Shrimp have translucent exoskeletons, but their tissues contain the red pigment. A few minutes later. When observing most shrimp, you can tell they are about ready to molt by the dulling in their color and shell appearance. But what if the shrimp is translucent like the short-nosed shrimp? In such cases, I personally rely on examining their eyes. As a shrimp prepares to molt, it secretes enzymes that dissolve the inner layer of its exoskeleton, allowing it to shed the old shell and emerge with a new, larger one. During this process, the outer layer of the carapace may become less shiny or even appear slightly cloudy as minerals are reabsorbed and the old exoskeleton loosens. I've noticed that the eyes of the shrimp gradually lose their solid color, becoming cloudy to the point where they look like they have eyeballs. This is because the carapace of the shrimp, which provides a protective covering for the eyes, starts to dull. At this stage, I can usually tell that within the next 24 to 36 hours, the shrimp should molt. Red cherry shrimp do well with other shrimp, snails, and nanofish. You want to look for tank mates that are generally peaceful in nature. These tank mates include guppies, celestial pearl danios, chili rasboras, neon tetras, nerite snails, ramshorn snails, bamboo shrimp, and amano shrimp to name a few. Keeping them with larger aggressive fish will result in them being bullied or eaten. If you're trying to breed red cherry shrimp, you'll want to keep them in a species-only tank that only contains red cherries. You won't want fish in the tank as most fish will eat the baby shrimp. From my experience, Autosynchronous catfish are one of the only fish that won't eat baby shrimp. Other than snails, this fish makes for a perfect tank mate. If you're going away for a few days, consider using Nano Banquet Food Blocks by Zoomed. These convenient food blocks are made up of plankton and spirulina which contain a rich source of protein and other essential nutrients. Designed to slowly dissolve over time, these food blocks last for 3-4 to four days, ensuring that your shrimp are fed even in your absence. Blanched vegetables like cucumbers, zucchini, lettuce, carrots, and spinach make excellent treats which can be given to your shrimp from time to time as they provide both nutritional benefits and enrichment. It's crucial to remove any of these uneaten foods after 24 hours to prevent them from decomposing and polluting the water. When feeding your shrimp, it's best to underfeed than overfeed, as it can lead to excess waste and pollution in your tank. Uneaten food can decompose and negatively impact water quality, hence why it's important to remove it after a period of time. Remember, your shrimp also have access to biofilm, decaying plant matter, and other organic matter in the tank. You should see how your shrimp respond to different foods. If they're healthy and active, you're likely providing a suitable diet. If they're showing signs of poor health or reduced activity, you may be overfeeding them and may have to consider adjusting their diet or water conditions. Amano shrimp are low maintenance, generally peaceful in nature and get along with other tank mates. Yes, that includes red cherry shrimp as well. However, when it comes to food, they can get a bit aggressive. If you drop pellets, for example, you may notice these shrimp stealing one for themselves. 
One of the most notable behaviors of a mono shrimp is their voracious appetite for algae. They're excellent algae eaters and can help keep aquariums clean by consuming various types of algae, including green algae, brown algae, and even some forms of blackbeard algae. Due to their algae eating habits, they're often valued by aquarists as effective cleaners and referred to as the workhorse of the aquarium. Before purchasing any red cherry shrimp, the first thing you have to realize is that they have various grades, and what I mean by this is that there are various intensities of red. Based on a shrimp's grade, they're priced and named differently. When figuring out a red cherry shrimp's grade, there are a few basic rules to keep in mind. The first rule is, the redder the better. Red cherry shrimp grading is all about how red they are. A shrimp with a larger amount of red and higher color intensity will fall into a higher category. The second rule is, opacity is important. Higher grade red cherry shrimp will have more opaque bodies without translucent splotches. And for the third rule, males and females differ. Male red cherry shrimp are smaller and less brightly colored than females. While a female might fall into a higher grade, a male could end up being in a lower grade. When it comes to grading red cherry shrimp, the ordinary red cherry grade is the lowest grade as the red color has a weak density. The carapace and abdominal segments of the shrimp will be covered in red dots and will be mainly transparent. The legs will be generally colorless as well. Males will look almost totally colorless and may have scarce spots of red. Females on the other hand will be light colored and will have a well-defined stripe going down their back. The Sakura grade is a step up from the ordinary cherry grade for red cherry shrimp. In this grade, the shrimp is almost completely red but small translucent splotches are still visible or there could be an orange tint to the shell. The carapace and abdominal segments are red with small cracks and holes being visible. The legs are mostly red with some slight spotting in color. Males are generally lighter in color than females. There may be some translucence to the carapace where the saddle may still be visible under regular lighting. The fire red grade for red cherry shrimp represents a considerable improvement in quality when compared to the ordinary cherry and sakura grades. At this grade, the shrimp is completely red. The intensity of the red color is very deep and the coloration is very vibrant. The carapace and abdominal segments are red without any cracks and holes in the body. The legs are mostly red as well. Males are also generally lighter in color than females. Saddles and eggs are still visible, but it can be difficult to see under regular lighting. Out of the ordinary cherry, sakura, and fire grades, the painted fire red grade stands at the top as the highest grade. These shrimp have a rich red coloration and are highly opaque. Their carapace and abdominal segments exhibit no clear spots, and their legs are entirely red. Typically, males are lighter in color compared to females. While saddles and eggs can be seen through the shell, it requires special lighting conditions to observe them. Thai microcrabs, also known as false spider crabs, are tiny, fully aquatic crabs that originated in Thailand. These crabs resemble spiders in their appearance because of their unusually long legs relative to their bodies. They are usually a silvery color with light brown or beige legs. Thai microcrabs don't grow any larger than half an inch in diameter, and that's taking their leg span into account. This makes them great for nano tanks. Similar to bamboo shrimp, these crabs are primarily filter feeders as they use the hairs on their legs to catch floating food particles. Due to their peaceful nature and tiny size, they can make a great addition to your already existing shrimp tank. If you're watching me, keep watching. The best part 